Hello, folks. I just watched some porn. Uh, remember Sarah Palin? Uh, they, they had some porn with her in it, some actress being, porn actress being her. Well, there's a thing out now called Hillary Porn, and it is women fantasizing about their world if the matriarchy was in control. There's no sex in it. Uh, I don't think moms really think about sex that much. Their idea of porn is to watch a woman kick ass and take names, especially in outer space. And I think white male nerds also fantasize about this kind of stuff because they see women as these intimidating oligarchs who control everything and kick them in the balls and step on them. They're into that squishing stuff. And that's what this movie is. It's a woman who's in control. And the only time, by the way, they let anyone else be in control, it's black men. And we saw this in The Martian, too. Nerds fantasize in a future where the white male bullies who made them feel uncomfortable in grade school are put in the back of the bus, and it's cool black guys who rap and stuff, and then women who are sexy and smart and tough. So this movie, remember in The Martian, they had, uh, they had what was his name, Donald Glover? He, he, he's some student who figures out, you know all those black, uh, young black male math geeks that are everywhere? He figures out a way to change the trajectory, and then uh, when they need Matt Damon back, it's going to be tricky. He's not going to make it. So this woman tells the giant Thor-like white man to get behind her, and then she gets in a little chair and bonks her head, rescuing Matt Damon. Yeah, chicks are kicking ass in outer space. I love it. This is more of the same. It's Forrest Whitaker and that red-haired chick who is in every movie in the world, and uh, they are kicking ass and taking names, and... God, they're bad at it. There's also this thing, by the way, in movies. Can you stop killing kids in movies? Every movie starts with a dead kid. Call me a helicopter parent, but I'm not in a good mood after you show a dead child. So stop using that as a crutch, because it bums me out. It's a cheap trick to get us emotionally invested in the film. Call me a pro-life, but I'm not into killing children. Anyway... So this movie, there's a scene in it where I, I, before I realized I was watching mom porn, Hillary porn, uh, there's a scene in it where they go onto this spaceship and the aliens know how to mess with graffiti. So all of a sudden you're just walking sideways, do 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 And you see her get on. Of course the black guy's totally down with it. I'm walking sideways, bro. Um, but the girl gets on and she's going, oh, 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 oh. And you're like, finally. That's how women act. I've been to haunted houses at Halloween. They scream their heads off. They don't go, yeah, walking sideways. And I thought, this is, that's why Ghostbusters flopped, because it was all, let's kill some alien ghost butt. Oh, you're from hell. Go back, Zool. Laughing in the face of skeletons going, rah. Yeah, right. Anyway, she looked vulnerable, and I thought, oh, are we onto something here? Nope. Because the camera then pans to that dude from the Avengers who was hot guy. He, we cut to him and he's going, uh, 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 uh. he acts like he's being raped with a totem pole. And that is the only way you can make women look vulnerable is if men, especially white men, are going, I'm so scared. And then the only other major role for white men in the movie was, um, these soldiers who are watching things like this. They're watching a guy on the internet talk about standing up for yourself. Boo! Alex Jones, Rebel TV, Infowars, Fox News, Rush Limbaugh. Ew, gross. So they watched one of those and they look at each other and they decide to try to blow up the aliens and, and cause a coup. Uh, shoot one across the bow, as the talk show host says. Yeah, that's what would happen if aliens were down here. Some sergeants, some, some, some privates, some grunts, some jarheads would get together and try to kill the aliens. But there is a funny moment towards the end where you go, God, you guys are bad at this. You're bad at your own narrative. There's a scene where she's talking to the totally awesome black guy, Forrest Whitaker, with his weird eye, uh, about why she needs to start with basic words. And she goes, you know, Captain James Cook, when he came to Australia, he asked the aboriginals what that marsupial was with the baby in its pocket. And they said kangaroo. And we later discovered that kangaroo meant, I don't know what you're talking about. She made it up, by the way. The writers couldn't even find a true story to stick in there. But the, the slip-up was, Forrest Whitaker goes, well, what happened to the aborigines? First of all, soldiers don't say aborigines. People who work at government departments who get paid big bucks say aborigines. But anyway, he goes, what happened to the aborigines when they met an advanced race? And you go, hey, dummies, you just said Australian hate speech. You just said aboriginals are primitive, and they were met with an advanced race called white people. 
So I'm even watching their own porn, their own Hillary porn, and I'm going, you guys suck at your own job. And that's why the patriarchy not doesn't just have to take back the country. We need to take back movies, because these people are really terrible at it. I'm sick of watching their pornography. It's disgusting. Hi, folks. That was a Rebel Media short. I have my own show on Rebel Media called How's It Going? You got to pay for that one. Check it out right here.